So Joe, in a previous presentation, we had a little race mm -hmm. where you gave me the 20 amp join box and array of tools. Yep. And it was a, a race to join two cables together. Yep. And you had this little thing called yep. the quick wire. Yeah, How did that absolutely. work out? Yeah, it was, it was you against my, my one block and my one tool, wasn't it? And uh, we had a little race and it didn't go great for you. I think it's fair to say that it was a photo finish. <laughs> yeah, I got yeah. a nose ahead, uh, a long enough nose to go make a cup of tea. Uh, but yeah, I did. Uh, I think I could have probably made about three or four off of these in the time that easily, the jumping easily. box would have taken. We actually abandoned my connections because yeah. it was going to take too long. Yeah. So I think it's only only fair that mm -hmm. you show me your little tricks yep. and what you did in order yep. to make it such a quick connection. We'll, we'll bring the camera in and we'll have a chat about the quick wire connector and how it works and why we think that it is a really, really good innovative product. So we'll bring the camera in and have a look. So Joe, I'm properly excited to see a closer look up on this quick wire connector, and you're gonna show me using the tool how to connect these up. Absolutely. So when we look at this, the first thing we're gonna consider is the actual connector box itself. You can see here that it's kind of split into two ends and two sides. So at one end, we've got what's labeled up as the power connections, and that's the same front and back. So you can see there, we've got neutral CPC and line. And then here we've got line, CPC and neutral. And it's labeled up power on both sides. And what this basically is, it's your loop in and your loop out. Okay. So we're feeding in and then we're feeding out. At the other end of the connector block, we've also got a uh, terminals marked switch. Okay. So that would be where your permanent line and your switching line go off down to your switching device, whatever it is that you're using. And then on the other side, we've got the connections that go out to the load. So you can see there that that terminal is a switching line, then we've got the CPC and the neutral. Okay. So it totally replaces the junction box and it has the connections kind of pre-assigned, if you like, already. Okay, so we've got the stripping tool here and yep. that's the only tool you've got, I think. Yep. And you're gonna show me how quick and easy it is to connect these up. Absolutely, so I'll do it slowly to start with, yep. uh, just so that we get the idea. And then what I'll do is uh, we'll do a quick one so you can see just how speedy it is, okay? So if you look at the stripping tool, this bit here is really the key part. So I'll just turn that around uh, so you can see that the right way up. So this is, uh, it's marked 22 mil. So that's where the end of your PVC twin and CPC cable is going to go. Okay. So we put that down so it's level with the line. Okay. So we're about right there. And then it's just one oh my click word. like that. And that takes off the outer sheathing. Okay. And then what's quite nice is, I don't know if this was designed in this way, but you can just grip that lightly and pull it off okay. like that. So you don't even need to put the tool down while you're doing the stripping process. Then, obviously we've got the inner conductors that we want to take the insulation off. So you just line up the end of the stripping jaws okay. with the bottom end of the PVC sheath in there. Okay. And again, one click and off it comes. Wow. Yeah. So not entirely dissimilar to the stripping tools that exist elsewhere, but with the benefit that you can use it to get the outer sheath off, which is really, really good. So then you've got three cores, okay, that are all perfectly terminated, no damage to the copper, no stress on the copper, and no damage to the insulation either. We'll put this to our power side and make sure that we get this the right way around. So we've got line, CPC in the middle, and then the neutral. Now you'll notice I'm not putting any uh, sleeving on the copper conductor in the middle, okay. on the CPC, because it's just going straight into that terminal and actually, once this is inside there, there's absolutely no uh, visible portion of that left. Okay. So that would probably jam up the works if we were to try and put sleeving on there. And then it's just a matter of simply pushing it in until it clicks. And that's it. That is that terminated. Now, it's retained. It's making a good connection inside there. And it's pretty tight as well. That's not going to come out. So can we see that once again, Joe? Can you just speed it up for us? Perhaps do it in real time rather than Absolutely. talking us through it. So if we put the uh, other power connection yep. in, so as if we brought the supply in and then going to take it out. Now what's interesting, I haven't practiced this a lot. So this isn't something that I've done over and over and over again. I've done this a couple of three times. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and do it as quickly as I can. It won't be perhaps as quick as someone who's doing this all the time will do. Okay. But let's see how we go. So I'm just going to Strip off that sheath in there, take that off there, line that up with the end and remove those. And then we're gonna put this inside, making sure we get those the right way around, push it in, and that is that connection terminated. That was pretty quick, wasn't it? 
when you think about trying to strip and terminate into your, into the joint box, that's pretty phenomenal. It just shows you, you know, when we've got a, a piece of kit that takes mm. away, you know, the terminations, screwdriver, the stripping, yep. the dressing, yep. that we've actually made very quick connections and yep. also maintenance-free connections. Yeah. And cord gripped as well. Absolutely. Yeah. So it, it just combines all the very best practice, all the most important things we've got to think about into one uh, box. And of course, because it's maintenance free, it means we don't need to access those connections to check for tightness in the future. So that could be put somewhere quite safely, no exposed parts, no chance of those cables coming loose. We're absolutely on clover. Okay then, Joe, what happens if I wanted to take out the cable now? So for some reason, I need to disconnect the conductor. I'm maybe breaking a circuit down, do some testing. Yep. Okay, and maybe fault finding. Mm -hmm. And obviously these are now permanently in position. How, how easy are they gonna to be to take out? They don't yep. look easy. Absolutely, or you may have made a wrong connection. Okay, you yeah. might have got your cables the wrong way around, maybe yep. you suddenly realize. So let's talk about that now. These side sort of tags here, these just pull apart and slide off, but don't go breaking your fingernails with it because they are a little bit stiff for that. But Quickwire provide you with a tool for doing this. So let's tool. just have a look. So we simply put that in so that it's connected onto those two ends, those two tags there, and then push. And it's just a gentle push, just with my thumb there. Okay. wasn't having to haul on that. And that just now slides out, simple as. Isn't that fantastic? That, yeah. It, it, as easy to get out as it was to get yeah, in. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you're not, you're not struggling, you're not straining. Perfect. I think we ought to do another presentation, maybe Joe, where we mock up a, a ceiling and actually make the connections, both the supply in, supply out, switch drop, and then perhaps look at a connection down to maybe uh, a fancy light fitting or an individual down light yeah, or something like that. I think that's that a great idea. Because we often we often find that we, when you buy a, a fancy light fitting from a, a big kind of commercial store, yep. it doesn't always seem like there's been a lot of thought gone into the poor electrician who's gonna be putting it up. You never have a permanent uh, live terminal in there to connect up to. So that can be a little bit of a nightmare, and I think that this is just the solution for that kind of situation. So like you say, we'll, uh, we'll produce another video demonstrating this in practice. So in summary, very quick to connect, yep. very simple to use the stripping tool, yep. and very simple to remove the conductors as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Solves all the problems of a joint box. Lovely bit of kit.